to accept me as who I am and I choose to give you the love that I give, you can in turn trick yourself into believing I want something else without involving me in that decision. Yeah, yeah. And if you do that, that's on you. Right. And I've given myself the ability to be able to separate myself from it, but it doesn't change the fact that I still have to have that conversation. Right. And in having those conversations, I've been able to learn the things that I need to leave with more and more as I have them over the years, the things that I need to explain when I meet a woman, if you showing any interest, because I'm not coming over there fucking with you. Right. I'm good. Yeah, you know I what I mean? It's either. good to look at you. You look yeah. lovely. I give you a compliment. You that. look lovely in your dress today. You're beautiful, yeah. lovely. Have a good Hope day. You have a great day. But I'm not doing nothing yeah, else because yeah. whatever you got going on, that's on you. I don't want nothing from you. I didn't right. turn down more pussy than most exactly. niggas they been offered. Yeah, so yeah, I'm not. Yeah. That's on that. a daily, man. And that it's not happens. something that yeah. I'm not. That's the least valuable thing on you. That's right. something that a nigga gave me. That's something my uncle gave me. The pussy is the least valuable thing on right. a woman unless you a pimp. So Facts. if you ain't a pimp, ain't pussy ain't valuable. Right. Up here. Right. The mind. Yes. What's what her mind like? Right. Yeah. So because you'll come give me that pussy and ruin everything else I got. Exactly. Going on. And if yeah. that's all you got to give me, that's all you ever gonna be worth. And if yeah. I can't get you to sell it, then we'll never have nothing. We ain't gonna have nothing. So it's like being able to navigate through these conversations that I've had over the years have gotten me to a point now where I sit and there's so many people around that just be like, boy, nah, nigga, your perspective gonna change. Wait till you get this age. Wait till you get that age. And I, I understand it because you're not doing anything to pro but projecting what your capacity to interact with a woman or, or the opposite sex is on the me. And I'm not mad at you about that, but people don't understand. Like, no, you don't have to. To love in the way that you say love. That you've been told to and love. That you've been man. told to yeah. love. You, that doesn't work that right. way. And I watched my mama play that game with niggas my whole life. Love is no different than pain, right? So you can't tell me if you pinch me when it starts to hurt. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you what pain is to me. Right. And I'm telling you what love is to me. And people got to be able to accept that, man. I think you putting some real good game down with I that. I mean, people are, you, you know, it's, it's like. You know, one of the reasons why I think it's so much divorce in America, Loom, and I truly believe this. I think people get divorced at the rate they get divorced at. And this is the thing. You got a 50-something percent divorce rate in America, not to mention the other 20 percent who stay together and can't stand each other just because they don't want to go. Marriages is failing at 70-something percent, yes. right? The reason why people get divorced so much or get married so quickly is because you don't have to get divorced in the same capacity that you get married. See, when you get married, you go down and get your paperwork from the judge, you know, the justice of the peace, but then you had that big ceremony and you wear the white dress and you listen to Brian McKnight songs and you eat salmon or steak and you had a first dance and you do all of this shit and everybody get to come cry and have this beautiful ceremony and watch you tell this person how you gonna be with them for the rest of your life until death do you part mm. and all of that. Then you get to go get divorced in private. Only you and your lawyer get to hear that shit y'all say to each other when y'all hate each other. But if in America you had to get divorced like you get married, if you get divorced, you got to now have a same ceremony where we get to come watch y'all tell each other why y'all can't stand each other. The same way we had to watch y'all tell each other how y'all was going to be together for the rest of your life. Right. And why y'all wasted all our time. And wasted all our time and go and going and, and doing all of this and coming sitting in here. And if you want, you know, because people want you to be a part of the success story, but the failure they want to keep private. Right. And the thing about it is in regards to re relationships to me, people are bullshitting out here mm. that's what i see most of the time nigga you faking right you the you the realest nigga in the world but you got all these women in the cut that you scared to tell us because yeah. she going what because she right. going to leave you yeah. for yeah she deserved to leave yeah. you sucker yeah, yeah, ass yeah, nigga yeah, yeah. be a real like man that. yeah i don't play like it I, every woman that's watching this that know me that fuck with me no he don't play i don't go for that N me neither yeah, and that's the reason that. why you can say it publicly because yeah, you yeah. i've been saying this shit publicly yeah. <laughs> for years. Thanks for watching this clip from It's Up There podcast. To see the rest of the interview, click one of the boxes on the screen. Also, join Discord and Patreon to be in our community.